this is a typical quick reading thermometer and I would like to share some insights on assessing cheek rectal temperature during brooding. The rectal, glocal, vent or internal temperature, they all have the same meaning and it is a critical parameter to assess in the first three to four days of the chick's life. Assessing chick rectal temperature is one of the final steps we can take during brooding to recheck whether the condition we are providing to the chicks during brooding is correct or not. It's like having a second. So we can say to a certain extent that when the chicks have good rectal temperature, it means the brooding conditions are good too. However, we still need to make sure the combination of factors such as heat, water, lighting, heat and ventilation are correct as well in order to achieve good brooding conditions. A chick's rectal temperature should be 40 to 40.6 degrees Celsius for the first four days. This increases over the first five days to 41 to 42 degrees Celsius and will remain as such for life. Critical assessment of rectal temperature is only needed in the first four days, where a chick is still unable to regulate its body temperature during this exotherm phase. It is not required to assess rectal temperature after four or five days as the chick will be able to regulate its body temperature by then. We should check the rectal temperature of chicks one to two hours after their placement. Get a minimum of 15 chicks per house evenly distributed. You may do this while you go about doing your other routine during pudding. If within range, you are good. If the rectal temperature is incorrect, adjust brooding temperature by 1 degree Celsius, wait 2 hours, observe activity, and measure the rectal temperature again. Repeat until you get the correct brooding condition that promotes the correct cheek rectal temperature. Reassessment of rectal temperature can be considered within the first 3 to 4 days during brooding. If there are any chick behaviors, for example, panting, huddling, inactivity, or low feed consumption that would suggest an investigation. So now we know the what, why, when. Let's have a look at the video of how we take chick rectal temperature. As you can see, using a normal quick reading digital thermometer, carefully insert the metal tip of the thermometer into the chick's cloaca. While waiting for the thermometer to register the temperature and heat, support the entire body of the chick gently and securely. This process is simple, safe, and will take us less than 20 seconds. Finally, what does it mean if the rectal temperature is too high or too low? If rectal temperature is too high above 41 degrees Celsius in the first four days, it means chicks are heat stressed. This will lead to panting. If rectal temperature is too low, below 40 degrees Celsius, it indicates that the chicks are too cold. Combine that with your observation of chick activity and you have a good assessment of your brooding.